Okay, everybody, welcome to the Legends Call. It is July 21st, July 21st, and we just got back from Coach Summit, and it was an amazing, amazing, amazing experience. My favorite summit so far, I've been to four, I think, four summits. Nashville is awesome. Tops, trumps Vegas all day long, so it was a blast. Plus, I got to meet a ton of my coaches, which was very exciting, which you're going to hear. Uh, you're going to hear from some of them today about their coach experience or their summit experience. So very excited about that. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and do some recognition because we have some awesome Success Club earners so far. Um, and we still have a good 10 days or so in this month. So let's see some of you guys going to help more people. It's not about the Success Club point. We get the Success Club point as a prize for helping people. So let's just go help more people. Okay, so let me go over that. I have um, we have the nearly theirs, uh, Katie with four, Laurel with four, Jenica with three, Phyllis one, Alyssa two, but she has four now, I think she said. Um, Sarah has two, Tasha has two, Courtney two, Jamila, and I spelled her name wrong. I spell it wrong every time, but she has two. Sorry, Jamila. Um, Adam has two. I don't know how to say your name. Is it Danae? Eh, has two. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Annette has two. I have eight. Actually, I should have 12 by now, but it only shows eight, so I don't know if they ordered yet. Mike Green, he's brand new, who he has five, and Janessa has 15 today. That's huge, and that's awesome. So I'm so proud of you guys. Some of those numbers might have changed because um, I only have the update from like yesterday. So, um, so congratulations to all of you guys who have successful points, and to everyone who has just helped somebody this month. Whether or not you have a successful point or not, your goal is to help people, and that's what, that's what we're doing. So just shout out to everybody who's made an effort to do that this month. So very proud of all of you guys. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Beachbody Cup, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't read the rules for this month. I'm just kind of kind of assume they're the same. So um, if I'm wrong and somebody has, um, Tony, how many do you have? Did I miss somebody? Tony, do you have some? Hold on, let me unmute you. Do you have any? Not right now. I sold a couple um, fitness programs, but not the challenge packs. Okay, awesome. So I saw that chat. It just totally went up there. So sorry to call you out like that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so the Beachbody Cup. What that is, it's we're putting five coaches together to um, basically, obviously the whole goal is to help as many people as we can in the month of August to sell challenge packs, to get points and certain things. And it's a point system and we get prizes for each certain tier that we reach. So if you reach Success Club 5 as a team, um, I think it says a team. No, if you reach Success Club 5, you get the first tier prize, which I think is my favorite thing. If you're not muted, mute yourself. I'm muting people. Um, but if you're not, I think I have most people muted, but okay. So um, the first year prize is my, honestly, is my absolute favorite. If I just get that one, I'll be stoked. It's a selfie stick. I can't wait to get a selfie stick. I'm totally getting that one. So that's my biggest drive, but I'm going to totally shoot for the stars and not go just to five. But um, selfie stick is the first tier prize. So if you get five success club points, you get your selfie stick. Um, if you get, I believe it's seven to 10, you get the second tier Correct me if I'm wrong, and I think that's a size baseball cap type thing. Um, and then the third tier prize, you have to earn 10 points, I believe. Am I right? Am I right here, guys? I haven't read the directions, um, so that's bad. Um, but if you get 10 points, you get size apparel. So I think for females, it's a tank and some, like, yoga-ish pants things. And a guy is going to be a T-shirt probably with some shorts or something. But that's cool. I haven't really done size too much. So. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I think that the, I think as a team though, we have to reach like 75 points for three. Is for it? Three that's tiers. right. Is it 75 now? Yeah, it's crazy. Like I was like, oh my word, look at the points. That's nuts. We can do it. It's like, it's, it goes, I know, but it goes, it goes like 30 and then right. 50 and then 50 and then 75 or something like that. You're right, I was like wondering, I was like, this can't be right. Okay, so you do have to earn Success Club 5 to get the first tier prize, but as a team, you have to get 30 to get the first tier yeah. prize. I knew I was off there. 
Um, and the second one is maybe 50 points. Anyways, yeah, all right, the directions, okay, all the directions are in the, in the legends page. You guys can see it there, or you can Google, Google it, um, team cup, beach body team cup. But, um, somebody was asking about team captain captains today. So let me just go over that. It doesn't matter who the team captain is really there. Everybody should play the same role. Every, everybody should bring the same amount to the table. There, there's no, um, you know, special treatment for captains. However, if you do take the captain role, it's awesome if you can get some sort of strategy going for your team. Um, it doesn't matter what rank you are. It doesn't matter how many points you've had in the past. It doesn't matter if you signed up yesterday. You can be a captain. Whoever, whoever registers you is considered the captain. That's all. So um, I do believe, though, that you are invited into a um, uh, Team Cup page, Facebook page. But honestly, that link can be shared to anyone on your team if you want your whole team there. So um, I know, I hope that clarifies that. Um, does anybody have any questions about the cup? You can raise your hand on this little setting thing. You can actually raise a hand here. So just kind of a cute little thing. So I'm going to assume that nobody has any questions about the team cup. If you do have, oh, there's a hand. Hold on. Okay, what's up? Do we have anybody here that has an empty space on any teams? Because I'm going to see if Becky can fit on somebody's team somewhere. Um, if not on this team, if you do not have a team yet, um, get on a team. That is like kind of a requirement if you want to build your business or if you're looking to pay off your Shakeology um, or whatever. You want to be on a cup because seriously, it's the same thing that we do every single day, but you get prizes for it. It's awesome. So Get on a cup team. If you're not on a team, I encourage you to do that. And Becky, if we don't have a team for you on our team, um, we do have a larger upline, downline, whatever, um, where we can get you on a team. So that's not a problem. Hold on, Janessa, let me unmute you. Are you still raising your hand or did I not take it off? Are you, Janessa, do you have any more questions? I'm trying to figure out how to put my hand down. Okay. Oh, Janessa, put your hand down. Okay, so, all right, so that's it for the Team Cup, I assume. All right, I wanted to also talk to you guys a little bit about the Coach Basics that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to start a new Coach Basics on the first Monday of August, which I think is the third. Um, I really should have written these dates down. But August 3rd, we're going to be starting. However, we would like you guys, whoever's going to be participating in the new Coach Basics, to do the prerequisites for that basics, which we're gonna start on Monday, so the 27th. Um, and we're just gonna, I haven't really figured out the, the whole thing yet, but we're obviously gonna put a group together and we'll probably put things in the files. Jenica, or am I thinking correctly here? I'm assuming that's what we're planning on doing is just putting each day maybe in the files or posting it as a day one. Anyways, it'll be- Yeah. Oh, it'll, sorry. No, it's cool. I was just going to say, it'll be obvious what we're doing. So, but the prereqs are a requirement if you want to be a part of the basics. So just be ready to start on the 27th with that sort of thing. Basically, um, the whole first week is organization, getting yourself ready for this, um, this basics group. So that's starting. Mark your calendars. The third is the date of the actual start date. And then the prereqs are starting Monday, the 27th. Leslie, real, real quick on that. Um, I know we're talking, we're going to have a meeting about this tomorrow together, but as far as the um, the group goes, is this going to be just for like coaches or, and then are we going to do like an Emerald to Diamond group or how are we doing this? I'd like to do an Emerald to Diamond group. I think everybody can kind of be a part of this one um, just to kind of see what it is. Um, but this is pretty much not for the emeralds going to diamond. It's going to be stuff they already know. Of course, it's always good to refresh, um, but it's kind of for brand new coaches, I'm pretty sure. So um, we, I do want to do an emerald to diamond group and get those guys going too. So we'll talk about that more tomorrow. Okay. Um, upcoming challenge groups. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. Just let me uh, mute myself for a second.
so sorry, guys. Um, sorry about that. I had to move. <laughs> um, okay, so, and I left my notes in the other room, so we're just going to wing it. Um, challenge group dates. <laughs> That's so like me. Challenge group dates. Starting the 27th, we are doing basically an any any Beachbody program. Same thing. It's like a revolving door, but we just change the, I don't like this. We just change the, um, uh, sorry. Okay. We just change the group. So it's not just a bunch of people that aren't doing the group filling up space. We just start it over. So it's like a revolving door, but we just change groups and move people that are interested into that group. For that, you can be doing any Beachbody program. You do not have to be doing Shakeology or anything like that. Okay. Um, Sarah, you're doing a group. Am I right? Or did you start yours already? I have a 21 day group going right now. Okay. It's going right now. So, okay. That one's out. Okay. Tasha, are you starting a group in August? I'm unmuting you. Oops. You unmute you. <laughs> go on. You, there you go. Yes. I'm going to do one in August. I'm just kind of, I don't know what date to pick yet. So I'm is just trying to be strategic about like them ordering it. And is it just going to be size? It's just size. Just size. So Tasha's going to be doing a group on size. I'm guessing maybe like the 15th or whatever. That's what I was thinking. I think the 17th is a Monday. I think. There you go. Spot yeah. So I'm thinking the 17th. To order and things like mm -hmm. that. So, so put that on your notes, guys. 17th is going to be a size challenge group that Tasha is going to be hosting. And obviously, if you have people going into this group, you help with the, the coaching of the group, okay? The, also, the 27th of um, this month, so Monday, uh, we have a kind of strict 21-day fix group going. It's kind of closed already, but I encourage you, I think we should do a call about it. Um, about that type of group, what we've been doing. Um, Janessa, Courtney, Katie, and I uh, did a challenge group last month on the 21 day fix, and it was really awesome, super successful. Everybody posted, it was amazing. Uh, very, very interactive group. So um, I kind of want to do a call on how to do a group like that and why it was so active so that you guys um, can do it. I, the reason I don't want so many people in it is because it's it's very focused, and I think if we have more than like 30 people in there, it's going to get crazy. Do you guys agree, Janessa, Courtney, Katie? It, it, would, it would get a little crazy if we had more than 30 customers in there because we, re, we require a lot of posting and a lot of pictures and things like that. Um, so I want to kind of have a call on how to do a group like that or maybe just give you guys an outline of what we have done because I want it to be open to all of you so you guys can have the same success as we are in this type of group. So it's strictly 21 day fix. Um, okay, awesome. We'll do a call on that for sure. Um, strictly 21 day fix. They have to be brand new and they have to do Shakeology. End of story. And they have to post. If they don't post, you can do it the way you want. But if they're not posting, if they're not interacting, we're, we get them out. They're not, you know, they know that coming in. Uh, we have a call with them the first Monday of Zoom call and the first week is strictly nutrition. We don't even start their workout or really even, they don't even start their diet plan until the following week. So we'll get more into that. We'll have a team call. We'll go over stuff like that. Um, and that's kind of it. That's all I wanted to go over. But I want to talk to you guys now about the most amazing experience we have had, especially as a team. And I think if you're on Legends, you have seen the, just how it's just blown up the past couple of days because of the excitement of Summit and what it's done for us. Um, and how you guys have to go next year. You have to be there next year. And I know a lot of you, maybe even everyone has, has purchased a ticket for next year and, or is at least on the waiting list. Huge, huge, huge thing. So I'm just going to go down the line and I'm giving everybody, I think I said two minutes, maybe even one minute review, whatever on your, your takeaways from summit. So I'm just going to go in the order that I see. So Janessa, you're first, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you and um, mute myself. So Okay, um, I'll try to keep it to two minutes. Um, lots and lots of takeaways from Summit. Um, obviously, um, my enthusiasm and energy towards being a coach has really been lit. Um, seeing all those people walk across the stage and hearing the stories of the coaches that had only been coaches for like 14 months and 24 months and they're standing up there and they're elite and they're all these different diamond coaches and millionaires. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I've determined that my goal is going to be next year. I'm tired of work for working for everybody else. 
I'm ready to be my own boss. I'm ready to be a better coach for my downline. And I feel like I got a lot of tools and knowledge on how to do that. So that's what I learned. And I had a great time meeting my team. I can't wait for next year. I miss you guys. You're muted, Leslie. You're muted, Leslie. Oops. All right. So Casey's next. There you go, Casey. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm talking on the phone, too. I'm talking on the phone. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, from Summit was uh, uh, probably just realizing that all the coaches, the pot coaches, were just like all of us. We all started from the same place. And it is possible that you can be a top coach and be up there and be recognized. Um, personal development was a huge stick out to me that all those coaches mentioned personal development and uh, so get that done. Okay, I saw I heard a little bit of doubles there, but I got it. <laughs> um, Casey, we keep thank you. Sorry, I won't touch any of the mutes. Everybody unmute yourself so I don't mess everything up. Katie, you are next. And I am you. Okay. All right. Well, just what everybody else said, Summit was awesome. And I loved hearing how they came from backgrounds like just like me. There were stay-at-home moms there walking across the stage getting top coach. I mean, that really just that hit home for me. But something that I really liked was how they focused on telling your story and how everyone kind of has different niches. And I've talked to all my coaches about this because I have two, two of my sister-in-laws right now are signing up to coach and they're worried that they're going to reach the same people. And they keep telling them, you guys have different audiences. You guys can reach different people. You're not going to reach the same person she is. And I loved how they really focused on, you know, telling your story and finding who you're targeting. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Katie. Rebecca. You have a story. Okay, go on. Okay, well, if some of you that watched my video know that I had no intentions of continuing coaching, even after day two of Summit, I was going to skip out. Um, anyway, um, what hit home for me was when Tracy Morrow told her story, and she said that, you know, she had cancer. She had two kids in two different hospitals at the same time, and she still worked her business. She did everything, everything, even though life was happening, horrible things. And, and it made me look at myself and think, wow, um, that's nothing. You know, what, what I've been through is nothing compared to what she's been through, and look where she's at. Um, so that's why. I'm on this call right now because even though my husband told me we were getting separated today, I'm still here. So, um, that was my, that was my takeaway, basically. Are you okay? No. Wow. I'm not, but I'll be okay. Wow. I love you guys. Well, we're here for you, babe. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, and uh, we will talk okay. for, for doing that. Okay. Um, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. All right, let's uh, let's move on. All right, Darren, it's your turn. <coughs> Okay, well, I'm going to set my timer because I made myself notes for this, all right? So I'm pretty excited um, to share this. First of all, Rebecca, we love you. We're praying for you, girl. All right, everything's going to be all right, and I'm starting my timer now, Leslie. All right, first of all, the most important session to me was the session that Rebecca mentioned with Tracy Morrow and Summer Tucker, and it was transforming from a hobby to a business. You guys know um, pretty much the, as far as my Beachbody uh, coaching career stuff thus far has been just a hobby. And this session spoke greatly to me. The top three takeaways that I have from that is something that Tracy Morrow said. And she said that I am the only variable in my vision. 
And that is exactly right, guys. We are the only thing that is different. We are the only thing that changes whether we are a success or whether we are a failure. If we want our vision to become a reality, then we have to take control of the things that we can control. So I want everybody to remember that everything else is a constant. Time, the numbers of hours that we have in the day, the number of days that we have in a week, all of that is a constant. And what we do at that time, that is the difference. The second thing that she suggested that we all do is to, to create our top three to five non-negotiables. I have done that. I've created myself my non-negotiables. I've got my top five non-negotiables for the day, my top four weekly non-negotiables, and my top three monthly non-negotiables. These are things that I'm going to follow. These are things that many of them are things that the uh, power of threes has suggested, and I have told Leslie that I don't have time to do that before. But you know what? I've got time now. Why do I have time? Did I get more hours in a day? No, it became a priority. I sent Leslie a schedule one time, and she probably remembers that, showing how full my week was and how little time I had. And you know what? I have learned this week that I'm the one that fills those blocks. I'm the one that makes that time available or unavailable. So I am now taking charge of this and I'm going to make time for my business. And the last thing that I want to do um, that I, was a takeaway is that importance of Summit. Be there, guys. For those of you who have already gotten a ticket and my timer is going off, so I've got to shut up. For those of you who have already gotten a ticket, great. If you haven't gotten a ticket, get on that wait list because it will change your life. Listen, you can watch Travel Channel all day long, but that's not going to let you know how Fiji Islands is until you go there and you be there. So stop watching the Travel Channel, be there, get there, and I can't wait to meet all of you at Summit next year. The fourth thing that I'm going to say is I brought home a whole lot of laundry, so and it was stinky and sweaty. But anyway, that's enough. Oh, well, that was awesome. And you still went over time, Darren. You still went over time. <laughs> all right. You did awesome, though. You know what? My biggest takeaway, I had a ton of takeaways. Um, but my biggest one was seeing the drastic change in my team. Not only the team that went, but the people that didn't. Um, and the like Rebecca's video hit home for a lot of people. Um, and that was amazing. And I'm so proud of her for posting that video because I know I saw the struggle. I saw the struggle on day two. I saw, saw the struggle on day one. Um, and I was concerned, but, but then she flipped the switch and it was right after that training and it was amazing. Oh, I'm muting people. Hold on. Um, Darren, this, okay. Thank you. Um, that, that video started a ripple effect. I think Katie put hers maybe first. I don't know, but, uh, I don't know who went first, but the videos that were shared, um, were so inspiring. And if you haven't watched those videos, go onto the legends page and watch them because Darren said it, you, you can't get summit if you're not there. Same with super Saturday guys. And that's something I forgot to talk to you guys about a super Saturdays on the 27th, 25th, this Saturday. Um, you cannot just watch the videos. You can't just say, oh, you know, they learned this, so I'm going to learn this. You have to experience Summit. Um, you have to experience live events, whether it's Summit or Super Saturday or a fit group or what do you call them, a fit group or whatever they're called. Um, go see the coaches in your area. Learn from them. It doesn't matter if they're on our team. Um, it doesn't matter. But live events are very, very, very important. Um, other takeaways that I've learned, uh, that's just a slap in the face for me every time because I know it is uh, consistency. I lack in consistency with my schedule, my tracking, everything. And I know that basically if I just become more consistent with everything, my career will skyrocket and so will yours. So um, that's it. I mean, a million takeaways, but that was my biggest. So I don't know where Jenica went. She disappeared. And I know she had some stuff to say, but she's not here right now. So um, that's kind of all I wanted to say. We actually made it in our 30-minute time frame. Uh, I just want to say as a whole group, Rebecca, we are praying for you, and we love you, and we are here to support you through this whole thing. Um, and uh, don't you worry. We've got your back, and, you know, we got you. We're going to be praying for you. So I'm going to wrap this up, guys. If You know what? If you have questions, I'm not going to do questions on here anymore because that's what makes us go way over. So if you have questions, post them in the Legends group so we can answer them. 
and I will get back to you on a, we'll probably do some sort of Zoom video chat for the 21 Day Fix group that we've been doing, um, whether it's something you can watch or something you can be a part of, either way. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this on your Tuesday night. I love you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye.